name. So that is what is happening here. Okay, fine. So I hope you have seen the list of presentation what I have sent to you. Yes, ma'am. So those who have not seen, check your class group and you will get the name of your topic there. And any doubt regarding the topic, how you will present it, if you have any doubt, you can call me and ask in my, otherwise you can send me a message in my personal window. Okay. So if I'm not like, uh, maybe I'm busy, then uh, if I'm not taking the call, uh, send me a message or whatever. You then otherwise you try again. But anytime you can call me and ask if you have any doubt. So whatever topic you are given is taught in the class. And you can even go through the class once again if you want to know it clearly how to present it. Okay, so you can go through the records. Okay, recording to Beji right? So you will get it. Okay, so you can watch it and uh, understand what is the topic which comes under that. And it is not necessary you have to present it that manner. You can even go a little beyond that. Okay, so if suppose production function is given, you can uh, like uh, you can refer some other book and uh, you can refer something else and you can make it more interesting. That is your creativity. That is your skill. Okay, you should convince that's all. You should focus on the topic which is given and it should be understandable. That's all. Any any method you can uh, use. Is not, I mean, uh, some students were asking me, is PPT is necessary, this or that. That everything is like according to your comfort level and availability of the facility, what, what you can do if you like uh, have a laptop, then you can do those this presentation and or those who don't have laptop, it's not necessary that, uh, I mean, you should present it and it should be convincing and the subject should be understandable, that's all. You have to present it in an understandable manner. That's okay. And it should be the time limit. What I am planning is five, five minutes because it's for five months. So it will not exceed six, five to seven minutes because we have to take the presentation of uh, 25 students. So it should not exceed seven minutes. So make it brief and understand. That's all. Okay. And uh, go through the topic which is given to you and do it and your google form is on 18th okay and google form this time you have only little i mean yesterday i was feeling like when i was uh, turning the pages to plan the i was planning the questions and i thought uh, i would have given more uh, portion because only less portion is there in production function post and uh, revenue next time i will give include more portion this time I have included only those portions which we have not uh, included in the previous. Thing. Next time we will include. Ma'am, yes, better. Ma'am, how many questions will be there in Google Form? Twenty questions, better. And ma'am, time? Time about uh, 20, 25 minutes. Twenty-five maximum thirty minutes. We will stop the response. We will not then uh, permit that. Okay, is it clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we were going through the lesson revenue, right? In the lesson revenue, you have seen uh, what is revenue, then uh, the components of revenue, like average revenue, marginal revenue, total revenue, then what else? Then the relationship between different concepts, isn't it? And one important topic you have seen, average revenue is equal to the price. Average revenue is equal to the price, so it is the price line itself. Average revenue is the price line itself. That also you have seen. Uh, and two types of market you have seen, the perfect competition and imperfect competition. The price remain constant and the price... Uh, changes like uh, when it comes down with the output and the output increases so these conditions you have seen 
okay and now we will do two three problems in this particular lesson revenue and this is exactly the same as you did in the cost lesson because there also you have seen average cost marginal cost total cost here is here this thing is same like you have to find out average revenue total revenue and marginal revenue so the concept is very the, the concept is same there is no difference only the name is different that is one is cost and the other is revenue still we will do two three problems of revenue okay uh, with that uh, we can uh, finish that chapter let me present my screen let me check first whether it is in my board or not uh, can you see my board yes ma'am okay. okay this is the fourth one Uh, we will start with that this is the missing figure one we will start with the simple one first this is the missing figure this also you can do still i will give you first i will give you a question with the norm in the normal way write the question calculate calculate average revenue and marginal revenue calculate average revenue and marginal revenue that is ar and mr ar and mr ar and mr in the first column you write first row you write units units second row you write total revenue so units or tr right one unit 20 total revenue then 236 to 36 236 348 348 Four fifty-six. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. In between, you say yes, ma'am. Otherwise, I feel like <laughs> I'm thrown out of the meeting. Four fifty-six. Then five sixty. Five sixty. Six sixty. Seven fifty-six. This is the question. Seven fifty-six. Is the question visible to you? Can you see what I have written clearly? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma Those who are attending through mobile phone also can see it, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, thank you. Good. So see, I don't want to give any explanation. You are given the units sold and the TR, that is total revenue. You are asked AR and uh, MR. I don't think it need explanation to you because average revenue always means total revenue upon units, and marginal revenue 
means difference between the total revenue. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so you can find it out without my explanation. So first you find out the average revenue. Otherwise, you do first uh, you find out the marginal revenue because the column is like this. It is easy for you to fill. And normally, uh, the answer is done. It's not like this actually. So this question will be done like this, uh, given like this. But answer you have to remember. Answer you have to write like this. Units at the top, and units should be put in a column, and then you have to write one below the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just done in that way. Question will be given like this. And answer you have to do it in the vertical manner. And TR units and TR is given, so it is very easy to find out MR first, because MR is simply yeah every additional unit what is the revenue increase. So TR column is twenty pushak pushak. I get yes, in samash me aa raha hai yes ma'am ye tr jo likha hai na what is marginal revenue the revenue from each additional unit marginal always means each additional a mr if mc is given instead of mr marginal cost is given jo additional cost hai wo hai mc and mr means jo additional revenue mila hai wo hai marginal revenue so these concepts are very same mc agar idhar m t c hoga total cost hoga mc kaise aayega usi tarah se tr se mr you can find out so total revenue 20 se 36 ho gaya ek unit badhne se एक यूनिट से जिस दो यूनिट में एक यूनिट बढ़ा 20 से 36 हो गया इसका मतलब व्हाट इज द रेवेन्यू विद ईच एडिशनल यूनिट सो 20 से 36 में आ गया सो दैट मींस व्हाट इज द मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू इन द सेकंड केस ओके या व्हाट इज इन द फर्स्ट केस 27 बिकॉज़ 20 में 0 था तो 20 माइनस 0 20 20 इक्वेशन चल मी दिन एम आर इज इक्वल टू जल्दी बोलो जो भी टी आर तुम ले रहे हो टी आर एन हियर मीन्स वॉट एवर टी आर यू आर टेकिंग दैट माइनस जस्ट बिफोर वाला टी आर एन माइनस वन का मतलब क्या है एन माइनस वन मीन्स जस्ट प्रीवियस वन सो विच एवर TR you are taking into consideration that that is TRN and here n minus one क्या है just previous one that is why n minus one just previous is n minus one so in that formula you can find it out other other ways it is pure logic तुमने first unit बनाया तुमको twenty TR मिल गया है so जब कुछ भी नहीं बना रहा था zero था तुम्हारा TR भी zero था तो twenty minus zero that is twenty that is the MR in the first case and the second case twenty became thirty six so it is 16 36 became 48 then it is 12 look right 48 became 56 then it is 8 aise jayega aise jayega 56 se 60 ho gaya 4 ho gaya 60 se 60 ho gaya 0 ho gaya 60 se 56 ho gaya minus 4 ho gaya dekho how well that uh, acha what can you say i mean uh, by analyzing the marginal uh, rate column What coming? To, what is coming to your mind? The difference of four. Sorry, but I own him. I mean, this pattern, this pattern of MR, by analyzing the pattern of MR, what comes to your mind? Twenty, sixteen, twelve, eight, four, zero, minus four. What comes to your mind? 
imperfect combination anything else what coming to my mind i will say that is the diminishing return law of variable proportion the three phases isn't it yes or no yes sir in the three phases what you have seen first it is an increasing okay so it is gradually diminishing rate of return you have studied diminishing rate of return in diminishing rate of return first it increases then it decreases then marginal rate marginal revenue that or marginal cost it will come to negative at the end okay so law of variable proportion and the law of diminishing return is applicable everywhere in this case also and in the next is what do you, what you are asked mr and ar so ar mein koi dikkat hi nahi hai whenever average is asked that is total upon the units total upon the units that is 20 by 1 36 by 2 48 by 3 56 by 4 okay so what are the ar tell me the ar sabse pehle wala tha 20 milega 20 36 by 2 18 ho jayega 48 by 3 16 then 56 by 14 minute okay 56 by 4 hai na 56 by 4 kya milega 14 उट Yes, ma'am. Anuj, Anuj, can you hear me, Anuj? Yes, ma'am. Are you able to follow what we are doing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What about Rohit? Is Rohit there? I won't. I won't be able to see your chats when I am presenting. Is Aditya Joshi there? Yes, ma'am. Are you able to do it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. So we will do the next question. I will zoom it. I think now it is clearly visible to you. Yes or no? Complete the following table. Is it clearly visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, this is the next question. Yeah. This is the next question. Rise twelve, ten, eight, six. So this is a situation where the price is not constant. So in the numericals, you don't want to. Okay, I was just uh, leading you to the law of variable proportion and all. So in the numericals, actually, you don't want to think that much. But this is a situation where the price itself, you can see. Normally, we get a price constant, and here twelve, ten, eight, six. That means it's an imperfect competition. The price remain. It is goes on diminishing. Then output is given one, two, three, and four. Output is given one, two, three, and four. What is asked? T R column is missing. And MR column is also missing. What is TR? Bolo. Total revenue kaise milega? Kaise milega total revenue? Price into units. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Dekho, abhi seven kya hoga? Suppose seven units you have purchased. At twelve rupees, what is the total cost? Eighty-four. Eighty-four is the total cost. That means seven units you have purchased at twelve rupees. The total cost is eighty-four. Like that, if you have sold seven units at twelve rupees, what is the total revenue? Eighty-four. So in this case, 
price 12, you have sold one output. So what is the total revenue? What is the total revenue? 12. 12. So price rupees 10, you sold two units. So what is the total revenue? 20. Eight price, output three. What is the total revenue? 24. Six and four, again, 24. So this is the total revenue. Now, once you have the total revenue column, then hmm, marginal revenue is just the difference between the total revenue. So fill the marginal revenue column. Fill the marginal revenue column. Is it on record? Hmm? Yes, Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Marginal revenue kya mila? 12 minus 0. Hey, kya? 12 minus 0. So in this case, 12 minus 0, 20 minus 12, 24 minus 20, and 24 minus 24, that is the marginal revenue. So that's all. So such such kind of simple questions only you will get in my group. So marginal revenue is here, 12 minus 0, that is 12. Why 0? Previous one other 0. Hai. 20 minus 12, that is 8. 24 minus 20, that is 4. 4. 24 minus 24, that is 0. Okay. Did it? Yes, ma'am. All of you? You are right, Sambhu. Varsha is not present. Anuj, want to speak something? Anuj Singhal, your microphone is on. That's why I'm asking. You want to speak something? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, can we move to the next question then? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next question is complete the following table, the next table. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Price is given, output is given, TR is given, and MR is given, and some few faces are uh, spaces are left. I won't explain you yourself. Do it and uh, give me the answer. See the question? Yes, ma'am. If anyone has finished, can okay, I will hide the answer. 
I know you are very good children. How will you feel it? How will you feel you have done it? It will be time to do it. पहले वाले में टीआर दिया है टीआर यू नो इट इज आउटपुट इनटू प्राइस मैम डन ओके वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मैम डन वेरी गुड मैम डन ओके ओके वेरी गुड कैन यू रीड द प्राइसेस लेट मी आस्क लेट मी सी द लिस्ट Aditya. Yes, ma'am. Can you read the price? Six four two one. Six four two one. Is it correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, six four two one. Very good, Aditya. Then output. Anuj, can you read the output? Okay, no problem. Kusha, can you read the output? Is Kusha then the call? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Output, padho beta. One, three. Hmm. Nee, missing figure fill karke bolo. The missing figure here. What will come and here? What will come? Ma'am, it is one, two, three, four. Who is this? Anuj. Okay. Good. Pusha. Yes, ma'am. This missing figure you have to fill. How will you fill it? How will one, you fill it? Ma'am, uh, in the fourth uh, one, uh, it will be two. Hmm. In the third one, uh, ma'am. In the uh, nil one, it will be three, and in the one prize, it will be four. How? How would you get it? Price is given in this column. Price is given four, and MR is given two. Two. This is the only information given. Ma'am, four minus two. Ma'am, four minus two. No, it's not like that. in the previous case in the previous case you can fill output is given and tr is given and total revenue means output into price so isme se you will understand tr kaise mila hai humko output se kuch into karne se multiply karne se mila hai so one se kya multiply karne se aapko 6 milega 6 itself that way you will understand ek minute It's not looking good. Six, I will make with black. Six price is six that you will come to know because T R is six. T R means unit into price. Unit into price is T R. So, is me unit T R hai price nahi T R hai. So T R se six me se humko samajh me aate six into something. Sorry, one into something is six. That is six itself. That way you got the T R. And in this case, what will be the MR? If TR is six, in the first case, what is the MR? Answer it. What is the MR in the first case? Six. Six itself. Why? Previous it is zero. With zero output, the TR is zero. With the zero output, the TR is zero. So MR in the first case is six. That means six minus zero. So that way you first fill the first column. ये नहीं पढ़ना कि पहले price fill करें उसमें output fill करें ऐसे नहीं जाना missing figure में कभी जो available है उसको भरते जाओ then the whole column you can fill. In the first column you are given only output and TR. Output तो one दिया है total revenue six दिया है. 
सो टी आर मिलता है आउटपुट को प्राइस से मल्टीप्लाई करने से सो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉन्डिंग टू समथिंग दैट इज सिक्स सो दैट टाइम यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इट इज सिक्स फर्स्ट वन द प्राइस इज सिक्स सो द टी आर इज सिक्स एंड एम आर इज सिक्स इट से वाई इट इज सिक्स सिक्स माइनस जीरो बिकॉज द प्रीवियस एम आर इज जीरो एट जीरो आउटपुट Previous TR, not MR. Previous TR is zero. Now coming to the second column, you have only the price four with you. You have only the price with you. Okay, definitely you have the uh, MR also with you. That will help you. This MR will help you. That means, bolo. Is me se ek ek MR idhar diya hai aur idhar ek MR diya hai. How will it help you? Anybody, please come and speak. इसमें से क्या समझ में आएगा फर्स्ट एम आर सिक्स है दूसरा एम आर टू है इसमें से आपको क्या क्लू मिलता है जल्दी बोलो मैम द सम ऑफ बोथ एम आर टी आर वेरी गुड वाई दादोज डोंट स्पीक यही तो मिलता है ना ये पहले वाला टी आर एम आर इज सिक्स एंड सेकेंड वाला एम आर इज टू मतलब ये टू कैसे मिला हमको इन दोनों का सम इफ यू राइट एट हिट इज हाउ यू गो टू हिस्स में से यहां पर टी आर आपका सिक्स था वो जो एट बन गया मतलब टू ओवर बढ़ गया जो एडिशन रेवेन्यू वही है ना एम आर तो यू विल गेट ए क्लू दैट दिस सिक्स प्लस टू सिक्मा एम आर इज इक्वल टू टी आर सिक्मा एम आर इज इक्वल टू टी आर दैट यू कीप इन माइंड ये सब फॉर्मूला के फॉर्म में नहीं है लॉजिक विद यू यू हैव टू थिंक लॉजिकली ये एम आर सिक्स है यहाँ पर टू है इसका मतलब यहाँ पर एक मिला होगा तभी तो यहाँ पर टू आया है एम आर के कॉलम में सो दस यू कैन फिल दिस कॉलम ऑल्सो एम आर एयर आ गया टू टी आर आ गया एट अगर टोटल रेवेन्यू एट मिलना है प्राइस फोर है फोर इंटू समथिंग इज एट फोर इंटू समथिंग इज एट दैट दैट गिवस यू the output here is it clear kushal is it clear to everyone yes ma'am is it clear to everyone yes ma'am okay good abhi humne second column bhi fill kar liya abhi third column mein dekho kya kya diya hai ye kya tha six tha kya what is this ek minute dekh yeah six tha देखो टोटल रेवेन्यू तुम्हारा सिक्स है आउटपुट तो थ्री है इसमें से पता चलता है थ्री इंटू समथिंग तो हमने इधर लिखा है टोटल रेवेन्यू मीन्स आउटपुट इंटू प्राइस सो यहां पर प्राइस क्या होगा प्राइस क्या होगा टी आर इज प्राइस इंटू आउटपुट तो यहां पर टी आर दिया है सिक्स सो थ्री इंटू समथिंग दैट इज टू सो हमको ये मिल गया तो एम आर तो ऐसे ही मिल जाएगा कैसे मिलेगा एट से सिक्स एट से सिक्स हो गया तो बोलो मैम माइनस टू हो जाएगा सिक्स से एट हो गया तो सॉरी सिक्स से एट हो गया तो प्लस टू हो गया मार्जिन रेवेन्यू एट से सिक्स हो गया तो माइनस टू हो गया अभी एक ही कॉलम बेचा है एक ही रो बेचा है उसमें प्राइस तो दिया है बाकी दोनों चीज गायब है लेकिन इधर से शुरू करो इधर से शुरू करो ये सिक्स था टी आर तो सिक्स था यहां पर दिया है नेक्स्ट टू वाला देखो माइनस टू है इसका मतलब ये सिक्स में से और टू कम हो गया टोटल रेवेन्यू टोटल रेवेन्यू फोर हो गया तभी तो ये माइनस टू हुआ है ये फोर हो गया टोटल रेवेन्यू फोर है प्राइस वन है तो आउटपुट कितना हो गया होगा फोर फोर इज इट डैट डिफिकल्ट इज इट डिफिकल्ट नो मैम नो मैम डू इट यस मैम चलो मैं इसको ना वोट आई हैव डन आई विल शो यू द करेक्ट आंसर लाइक दिस 
go to it. It's pure logic. There is no shortcuts. If you understand what is TR, what is MR and all, you can fill it. Otherwise, no. Okay, then I will send you a few more questions for homework. Any question you can do if you have uh, the concept what is TR, TR is price into output, and is and what is AR? AR is TR upon output. TR upon output total revenue ko output se divide karo tab aapko average revenue milega. And what is MR? MR ke liye hamesha TR mein chala chale jana. And the difference between the units, the each I mean. Uh, the unit which I mean a successive unit that is in this case six minus eight and uh, sorry six minus zero eight minus six and six minus eight and four minus six in that way you can find out the MR. Okay, so I will send few more problems and with that uh, as homework you can definitely do it and if you find any difficulty you can uh, call. Okay, so that is there be have completed. The chapter revenue. Let me come to this screen. Oh, twenty-four was there. Now only eighteen. 